Welcome to Sociology GCSE. Sociology is the study of society, but I really don't like saying that because it's so much more than that. Sociology allows you to stand up for those who can't always stand up for themselves, challenge social inequality and ask questions about why our society exists in the way that it does. It allows us to challenge some of the issues faced by us in society and eventually go out into professions that will allow us to make a change to the world that we live in. Over the two year course, you'll study a variety of different topics. and I'm going to go into each one of those in a little bit more detail. Overall, we look at lots of different theories and how they feel and think about different topic areas. We look at how research is done. We look at the topics of family and education in year 10 and crime and deviance and stratification, which essentially means the gap between those that have money and power and those that don't. As you can see, sociology is examined at the end of the two years. It is a course that allows you to develop skills of analysis and evaluation. It is two exam papers, both of which are an hour and 45 minutes, with a variety of questions from multiple choice to short essays of up to 12 marks. There are some using sources and there are some more extended questions that rely on you having your own opinion. Is a subject where we encourage students to draw on their knowledge of the real world, to apply their knowledge to real life scenarios. In year 10, we start with research methods because we need that in order to evaluate all the other areas. But then we move on to the family and we're thinking about what does a family do? How is the family structured? What are the roles and relationships with the family? And how has that moved on from a time when we, women used to stay at home and men used to go out to work? We look at childhood and how roles have changed that. We start to criticise the nature of having a family and how families might not always function in the way society needs them to. And we also look at the topic of divorce and we're looking at the nature of divorce, the extent of divorce and the impact of divorce on society. Secondly, we then move on to education. In the education topic, we're thinking about what is the purpose of education? What is it there to do? Is it there to prepare you to be workers and to follow the rules? Or is it there to allow you to grow creativity and serve as a job for society by making sure jobs are filled effectively? How would feminists see education? Is for education the tool to overcome patriarchy? Or is education encouraging women into traditional gender roles? We look at what happens in school and how an everyday experience in school can shape your experience. In year 11, the topic that people look forward to the most is probably crime and deviance. And we're looking at what crime is, how something becomes defined as a crime or deviant behaviour, how we control crime and lots and lots of different theories as to why people commit crime. Is it because of the challenges they face in society or is it that some people are just labelled more as criminal? They don't actually commit more crime, but they are arrested more by the criminal justice system. We look at statistics on crime and factors that might affect criminal behaviour. The last topic that we look at is stratification and we're looking at the ideas of social class, life chances, what it means to have money and be affluent, how that might give you power and opportunities. And we look at the massive gap between the rich and the poor in society today. If you take sociology, you develop lots of skills that will help you in other subjects. You're developing your literacy skills, your skills of debating, verbal reasoning, really developing an empathy for other people and their situations and what they might experience, applying your knowledge to different contexts and real life scenarios, as well as developing those interpersonal skills and a cross-cultural understanding of how different people live and how that might be different from yourselves and how they may experience the world in a different way. Sociology can lead you on to lots and lots of different careers. It might not be that the career is directly related to sociology, but anything where you're working with people, you will be leaning on some of the knowledge that you've learned through the sociology course. You could go into education, social services, 
research, law, working in the public sector. There are so many different jobs out there and a variety of different roles. And it's about doing something you enjoy and developing those skills that will set you in good stead. for Further study, university, an apprenticeship, whatever that might be. You'd be hard pushed to find a job where you're not working with people. Sociology allows you to draw on what's going on in the world, look at it from a theoretical perspective, developing your analytical skills and really allows you to become a much more active and engaged citizen that has an awareness of the world and knows how to make it a better place and can be part of the change that we want for the future.